we have here is a slinky. Imagine a really long piece of metal or plastic wrapped around on itself over and over and over again to form multiple circles that are all just twisted together to basically form this nice tube shape. The interesting thing about this is if we look at the slinky head on, we know nothing about how deep it is. We just see it as a circle over and over and over again. Just like if we were to sit and draw a circle over top of itself over and over and over again, we wouldn't know how many times we drew that circle. Now think about laying the slinky on its side. What would it look like? We know head on we have a circle that just goes over and over and over again and we don't know how deep it is. If we flip it on its side we notice it begins to form a wave. So the first thing we want to do is calculate how high the slinky is or the diameter. That's the amplitude or A in the sine equation. Next we want to see how many times the slinky loops around on itself between 0 and 360 degrees. That is the frequency or B in the sine equation. Here we see the sine equation. Y equals A sine B times X where A is the amplitude and B is the frequency. We can begin plugging numbers in to A and B. Here we see if A and B equal 1. We see the sine wave here where the diameter is between positive 1 and negative 1 and it completes a full circle between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. Next we change the B to 2. We can see here it does two full circles between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. In the background is the dotted line where A and B still equal 1, so you can see the difference. If we change B back to 1 and change A to 2, we can see how the amplitude changes. Our diameter changes from positive 1 to negative 1 to positive 2 and negative 2. Here we get fancy. Now we change A to 2 and B to 3. So we can actually see by changing these two terms, the amplitude and the frequency, how we can actually get different sine wave shapes. Remember, the basic equation is y equals a sine b times x, where a is the amplitude and b is the frequency. Thank you.